back to the original uh, conversation about the angels, right? Right. You you know about the apocrypha, right? I don't get into that. Let's forget. Let me listen to first time. Anything I've been listening to you. I asked you a question. Can you, I'm, I've been respecting you, Rabbi. Yeah. Can you respect me? Listen to me. Anything that is... Not so that's, that, that's interesting. So you, you, you get paid to teach the word of God? No, I don't. That's what you just said. I said Charles. Just call it. He said just call it. Call it. You said me and my colleagues. I did not no, say you. Charles, bring that you, you don't listen. You said me no, and my listen. colleagues. Okay. You're the son of an A shop. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're right. Rebecca, you're the son of an A shop. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're right. Rebecca, I'm standing here. Come on. We're going to get into that. Let's go back to the you are the descendant of an Esau. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. You're saying that I'm a descendant of Edomite. You're saying that I'm Esau, but yet you don't know my history. Yes, you are. You don't know where I come from. I don't give a damn where you're coming from. Okay, so what does the Bible talk about being presumptuous? What does the Torah talk about being presumptuous? Get your Bible. The Bible at the skin tells me. So, so, so the Bible tells you to be presumptuous, right? You are not made from the earth. Black people are Jews. Black people are Jews. I don't disagree with that. So let me ask you a question. So, so uh, when Isaac and Rebecca, they're two black people, right? Uh, yeah, and you know And they mean, and then wait, listen. You wanted me to listen. I've been listening to you for 15 minutes. You want me to respect you, but you have no respect for me, man. All right? You say, no, I'm not. You don't know my history. Get on this side. It's all right. Get numbers 1 and 18. Right? You are not made from the earth. Black people are Jews. Black people are Jews. I don't disagree with that. My grandfather is darker than you, genius. Get that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. This is out of the Torah, which you claim to know, but yet he's talking about these other books known as Gomorrah, which is a, subs a subjection of the time. My grandfather is darker than you, genius. Get that. The book of Numbers, chapter 1 and verse 18. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. This is out of the Torah, which you claim to know, but yet he's talking about these other books known as Gomorrah, which is a, subs a subjection of the Talmud. When did the Talmud come into play? Around the Babylonian captivity, when uh, the heathens were trying to teach us their ways. The Talmud is a complete contradiction of the Torah. All right? Fulfill Jeremiah 14 and 2, they are black unto the ground. That madness, man. All right? And then he wants to run away talking about Hashem and he had to con uh, consult the angels. The most high God don't got to consult the angels, man. He puts his commandment out and it goes out, man. Then he calls me Esau. Doesn't know where I come from. Man. Being presumptuous as hell, right? But he's supposed to be a rabbi. Had no Hold patience all, whatsoever. Give me honor to Yahweh by Hashem. Yahweh Shai by Hashem. Recha Ha Kodash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you other elders scattered abroad, you brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, even you few sisters and you supporters of the truth. Shalom as well. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom to the elect. I want to go into this video. You know, sometimes we think we've learned everything or we know more than what we know. Now this in particular I didn't know uh, uh, that you would have these black rabbis pushing uh, the black Jew doctrine to a degree and um, hitting themselves over other so-called Jews. So I didn't know that, um, but I'm not surprised. And what I don't understand is why isn't those type of rabbis being targeted as more hateful, even though, they are wearing the same attire as the other ones. So that's kind of crazy. You know, you would think they would be like harder on him than one West. Right? So he's, this black Jew is teaching that the children of Israel are all black. So now this video also is a clip from Fopi. And I will go into a few comments <laughs> that is left that is kind of funny to me. But uh, John 6 and 63 says, it is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh, profiteth nothing. So I wanted to talk about that because this brother of the Sakari, uh, the Sakari sect, as they call it, 
um, said that, hey, it's not about me. It's, it's not about basically the flesh. You don't know me, you know, of my father. Um, he said his grandfather was darker than him. So I don't understand how after thousands of years, <laughs> for whatever reason, after all the slave trade and the mixing and the pulling and pushing, right, that all of us are going to look black. All of us are going to look like one color. You know, I, I don't get that. But maybe because maybe it's the fact that none of these people are spiritual. You know, and then all it does is take for a doctrine like this to be pushed. And then you would have a certain group that the Lord wants to follow it. Now, this man that's with the black skin can be Esau himself. <laughs> that's how it goes. Actually, all that was doing when it showed Jacob and Esau, right, right, was making a distinction between the two nations. As Esau was cursed, it was making a distinction. But you already had distinctions from the, between different nations, as just as uh, Abraham and Isaac, which he quoted. I don't think I put it up. I mean, Abraham and Rebecca. I mean, Sarah, right, uh, had Isaac and Ishmael. And I think, no, he didn't quote that. He did quote Isaac and Rebekah had Jacob and Esau. So you can clearly see through these generations, there were nations born out of the womb, two nations out of the womb of a woman, right? And it didn't always have to be, um, you had Lot. So it didn't always have to be about color, right? It was just making a distinction like how Lot uh, uh, children was, right? So it's the same thing with Esau. It's just making a distinction, um, showing the curse, you know, like Cain. Uh, it's making a distinction between these two nations. Now, over time, these nations will go on as Esau will go on and marry other nations. And over time, we will grow and we will start looking like various other nations. So our people will look like Lot, you know, I mean, our people will look like Moab, Ammon, right? Our people will look Japhetic, you know, our people will look Hamatic, our people will look like Edomites, right? So uh, this is their doctrine though, you know, and that's what I'm going on. And it's, it's weird that this man is pushing his doctrine, but you don't see them in the ADL or anything else. The black rabbis. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird. But let me go to the um, the comments. Let me go to the comments. This is weird. It says, The elder is a real Yehudi. And gorilla sheepdog is a mamza. And a mamza just meant an illegitimate child. And if you want to really look at it like that, we all were pretty much forms of mamzers. We all didn't come up for the most part under a righteous order of uh, uh, parents, okay? All of us, a lot of us didn't even know the truth being born. Come on, man. It really had nothing to do with strictly uh, skin color, just illegitimate child, okay? So um, if you had um, a father, and well, what about Moses and Zipporah, right? So that means... Um, he had a son, uh, Gershom, which means stranger, by the way. So is he a Mamza? I mean, we can make several examples uh, in the Bible with Boaz and uh, was Ruth. But I guess they'll say Ruth was a, was an Israelite, which is clearly false. We went into that in a book of, um, was it uh, Esther, the fourth chapter, I believe. Salakia. Uh, no, the book of Ruth, Salakia, the book of Ruth, the fourth chapter, um, when she gave the, uh, when, when Ruth had that child, um, Naomi um, uh, took that child and nursed it to herself. Now, was that a, a, a custom of the Israelite women? Right? So all she did was, all she was was a surrogate for, um, uh, uh, for what, Naomi. Right? So, What's up with that? <laughs> uh, anyway, somebody said this is funny. How I miss this one. You descend from Esau. Well, be, well, be damned. The elder was so on point. You know, 
Who can trust a guy like that? A guy like that with the with the black hat, with the beard, and the black coat looking like them. You can tell a lot of these a lot of this is agent related material, man. Right? Enraged the heathen Israelite is not only demonstrating his like his like heathen behavior, he's reckless doing so in Deuteronomy twenty eight fifty. Now when you go to the book of Daniels, I believe the twelfth chapter, it says, None of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. There's no way that you look at this man and clearly look at him and and say anything like, you know, he doesn't he's not he's a mamza or he's not of the, the Bible. And since you speak of Mamza, this is what Yahweh came for, man. Right? A lot of you guys, a lot of you believers in this BS doctrine is carnal in the law, number one. It's about the faith. And this is sickening. This is real sickening that our people will be blowing themselves away, killing themselves, Right? But the only thing they can be concerned about is a light-skinned person reading the Bible, knowing that they under the curses too, right? The Ephraimites are under the curses too, just like the Judites. All of us under curses. Who do you think are in those gangs? Come on, man. But this is what they teach, and this is the, the mindset of reprobates who just don't understand the spirituality of it. Some groups may have a little better than other groups, right? So what happened to those goddamn, uh, those serious Hamites, right, from Sudan, the real Egyptians? Why aren't you bigging them up to be the real Jews, too, of the Bible? And if that's the case, why don't you marry one of the ones with the lip plates? They're open and available. Why don't you go there to Sudan and in the deeper parts of Africa, where some of the heathen are. And why don't you raise them up and bring them into the truth, right? With them bones in their faces, man. <laughs> you won't do that. Uh, the elder got that knowledge. The knowledge spoke nothing but truth. Wait a minute. This elder was reading out of the Tao book. I, mean, I can't even say it because they, they cut me on that. He's reading out of that book. And it don't have anything that mentions anything about us being the real Jews, man. Come on, man. That's what the Torah is for. It's great. At least that I don't know. I've seen through that book and I, I've seen people to study through it. I don't see anything like that. But hey, who knows? But you'd be surprised at what that book says. And if this man, this black rabbi is following that book, right, then he's got that holly weird spirit, if you know what I'm talking about. You know, he got a lot of that going on. He was crying because he got cut, you know, and this also proves that no matter what, the elder told him, laugh out loud, he going to cry in, in the car. This, go, this also proves that no matter what, people are really influenced by doctrine, right? And if you got the look and you got the belief, you're going to follow it, you know? So... And it's also um, the point that at the end of the day, no matter what somebody believes, they're going to stick with, and you can't change their mind. You can't change uh, what they believe. You know, the, these people are stuck in their doctrine, and they really believe this. They really believe that this light-skinned Jake that's with fringes can't be an Israelite. They really believe that because these people are spiritless. Okay, let's go to Ezekiel 34 and 12. As a shepherd seeketh out his flock in the day that is among his sheep that are scattered, so will I seek out my sheep and will deliver them out of all places, whether they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day, right? And when we came over and we've been dispersed, even after 70 AD and the, the slave trade and everything that happened, the Lord is now scattering back together his sheep. But now you got a scattering in the scattering. You got Israelites who have been scattered into other doctrines. Now, Fopi, they had a one West following that was following them to a particular direction. 
just like you had Jake's all over who had doctrines, then they quit, and then the sheep is scattered, and then they come back and become new forms of shepherds and try to bring in a whole new form, a slew of sheep. So my mindset would be, how can you trust anybody like that? Somebody who quits on the stoop, right, and then get up and start it all over again and bring a whole new doctrine in, and then you follow it. How do you know, how can you be convinced? Well, it's the Lord show. That's how they're convinced. Deuteronomy 28 and 48, and they shall be upon thee, talking about the curses, for the sign, for a sign and a wonder, and upon thy seed forever, meaning a period of time. Our seed got cursed with the curse of leprosy as well, man. You know? And not every so-called black person is going to be an Israelite. That's why you had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And out of that, nations and nations. Yeah, but out of those nations that was created, not all nations are the same. Just like birds, you got different breeds of birds. They're all birds, but they're not all the same so-called, you know, background. If you want to say nation. You got cats, they're not all of the same breed. Dogs, wolves, not all of the same breed. You don't think the Lord did us like that? The certain birds hang with the certain birds, the certain animals. You don't see the um, the vulture hanging around with the uh, with the pigeon. But this is what you see in the confusion of Babylon, man. You got these vultures, right? These wolves who are trying to attack the sheep, which are different colors. Sheep have different colors, so. You know, this is what you see in Babylon, man. This is what you see. Nothing but confusion. Matthew 24 and 23. It says, Then if any man say unto you, Lo, here is Yahawashah, or there, believe it not. Right? It says, believe it not. Don't believe them, man. And that's what these guys are trying to do. And that's why we do the videos that we do. For there shall arise false messiahs. And false prophets. Anytime you get a prophet that raise up, drop off, raise back up again, drop off, and raise back up again, how the hell can you trust somebody who's double-minded and inconsistent? Right? And shall shew great signs and wonders in so much that it were possible they would deceive, deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Right? So when you get so mad at a group because you couldn't take or handle what you were taught and your the mindset of you becoming an enemy, you'll side with this black ass rabbi with a with a black hat and a big white beard saying all kind of manners of evil. You don't agree technically or you'll be wearing the black hat, right? You'll be wearing the black suit with the tie, right? With the obelisk. You would be doing it. Right, but you don't agree. It's just only because it came against a one West camp. That's all. And like I said before, all these groups, all these people who have these different doctrines, right? They believe it and the people follow it because that's where the Lord got in them to do. And you're stuck in the belief that you were put in. You can't help it. It's what the Lord got at you to do. And what happens is you have so much guilt about leaving that you know that they're wrong but you will stay anyway because you can't accept being wrong you can't accept the fact that you know you're wrong you've been duped but this is the fopey you know these guys are all about so called black pride but they glorify in the IUIC and IHBK fight they put videos up and, and disclosing it like it's like you know, the greatest entertainment in Israel. We don't enjoy that. We're just saying that the sheep got to come out of there. Get out of those false camps and get out of these false doctrines. Anyway, that's all I have on that show. Woman.